the Arctic Ocean, one of the world's natural swimming pools. The ocean is home to over 220,000 species of identified animals. While much of the ocean has been discovered, there is over 2 million species of unidentified animals. These animals are either roaming the deep depths of the ocean or are residing on the shore. One of the unique creatures found in these waters is the beluga whale. The beluga whale is a very small whale and um, is found in the Arctic Ocean. They are known as the white whale, melonhead, and sea canary. These whales have very small heads compared to most other whales. However, they have something most other whales do not. They have a melon. The melon is a squishy part of their head located above their eyes and below their blowhole. It is located on the dorsal surface and facilitates sound production. Mm -hmm. The melon changes shape whenever the whale is producing noise. The beluga is a very interesting aquatic animal with very specific characteristics. We will be looking at three main aspects of the beluga whale. The first being their habitat, then their diet, and how they communicate. Let's take a deep breath and dive into the Arctic Ocean where we will discover the habitation of the beluga whale. The beluga whale is an Arctic and subarctic cetacean, meaning that they are fully aquatic. You will find this creature primarily in adjacent waters, which is meaning, wait, which is ocean water in between the shoreline of town beaches and extending sea. The beluga whale has a very diverse way of living. They can live in between, they can live in freshwater or salt water. Their adaptation of water can be based upon prey, predators, and climate change. The Georgia Aquarium is a nonprofit that is committed to spreading awareness about the ocean and worldwide aquatic animals. The Georgia Aquarium found that whales, that these whales are found primarily from Norway to the west coast of Greenland. Populations have been found in subarctic populations, have been found in subarctic regions such as the St. Lawrence River and the Amur River. The Georgia Aquarium also states that beluga whale populations that beluga whale subpopulations differ genetically and geographically. Okay, let's catch some food, but first we need to find out what the beluga whales like. Similar to most animals in the ocean, beluga whales enjoy fish. They also eat invertebrates, which is octopus, um, shrimp, snail, and many others. According to SeaWorld.com, the beluga whale consumes about 2.5 to 3% of their body weight a day. The beluga whale is similar to the narwhal and dolphin because they have teeth. The beluga whale is the most, has a, the beluga whale is the most abdominately toothed whale in the Arctic and subarctic region. The beluga whale plays a crucial role in keeping the ocean's ecosystem balanced and maintaining its health. According to American Oceans, beluga whales consume extreme amounts of food in between winter and early, in early spring. This is because they are Arctic animals and must keep up, and must, they are Arctic animals and dwell in the most, in the coldest climates. Because of this, they, because of this, they need a thick layer of blubber. Blubber, keeps them warm. So during the winter and early spring, they eat an intense amount of food in order to keep themselves protected from the harsh weather. Finally, we will be exploring their communication. They have a broad sense of hearing. The beluga whale is able to hear from 1.2 kilohertz to 120 kilohertz. This compared to the human is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That is five times smaller. Beluga whales are big communicators. They communicate through squeals, chirps, whistles, and moos. Here is a sample sound from a beluga pod. Mm -hmm. Mm 
According to the NOAA fisheries, beluga whales utilize echolocation to find their prey. How echolocation works for belugas is that they emit a vast amount of sound signals, or clicks. So the sound signals are released from the beluga whale and is reached to the predators or object. Once it reaches the object, it is then transmitted back to the beluga whale. The beluga whale is then able to determine the size, structure, and the distance the prey is. Echolocation is probably the most important piece of the beluga whale because it allows for them to determine their prey from their predator and it allows for them to see through dark and murky waters. Within the triumphant blue ocean waters, we discovered the beluga whale. We learned that they live within the Arctic and subarctic regions, they feed on fish and invertebrates, and they make various noises to communicate. Remember to use your melons and be kind to the environment.